Hello, Herb. Hey, Brian, how you doing, buddy? Uh, you know, the question that you ask Republicans all the time about whether or not Trump won the uh, mm-hmm. 2020 election, mm-hmm. that's basically a yes or no answer. It is, right? Um, yeah, I, I think it is, basically. Okay, Herb, can I ask you this. something? May I ask you something? No, no, let me, no, no, no. I'm no, not allowed no. to ask you a question. You, can, can I, can no, I, I ask? I just want to ask you my question. Let me ask you my question first. Okay, I'll let you ask first, uh, and then may I ask a question okay. afterwards? Is okay. that okay? And so Thank you. My point is, is that my question to you is, is that do you agree, yes or no, that the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton put together a false dossier against Trump at the beginning of his uh, of, of his uh, term in office? Yes or no? Do I think Hillary Clinton put together the dossier? No, I don't. Hillary Clinton no, I don't. and the Democratic Party? No, I don't. No, I don't. You don't think so? I don't think Hillary was that Clinton. False? I just, was that, I just, was that a false dossier or okay. was it true? So that's a different question. You're asking me about a dossier. The first question was, do you think Hillary Clinton put together the dossier? My answer is no. There's no evidence that Hillary Clinton put together that dossier. Somebody put it together. And obviously that dossier was proven not to be true. Now I would like to ask you a question because I answered your question. Don't you think it's problematic that J.D. Vance on a debate stage refuses to answer the question, which you are correct. It's a simple yes or no answer. I agree with you, which is who won the 2020 election? Did Donald Trump lose? I just had a surrogate on. J.D. Vance won't answer the question. I, I heard her. I heard her. And, 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 and listen, Herb, I, I hope we can agree on this, at least. Can we agree that if Donald Trump loses, I don't know if he's going to lose. If he loses, he will never concede. Can we agree on that logically? I don't know. I, 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 I can't say whether he will or he won't. Are you I know saying, he has a hard time. If he if he does lose, he's going to have a hard time. So Herb, because he, he Herb, like to lose. let me let me but phrase I it a different way. Let me, hold on, Herb. You or anybody else can say whether or not he's going to concede or not. So Herb, Nobody let me phrase it a different way. Uh, I think we do. But Herb, let me phrase it a different way. Herb, do you think under any circumstance, any circumstance, Donald Trump will concede if he loses to Kamala Harris in three weeks? Any circumstance. Very simple question. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. There's no way I can tell. He's There's still, no well, here's how I can tell her, but you can tell me whether you agree or not with my answer. Okay. The answer is no. Why? Because he still hasn't conceded the 2020 election. There's no evidence of widespread voter fraud that could have changed the outcome of the election. And to this day in 2024, he still won't concede that election. What makes you think if he loses to a woman, we know that he's a misogynistic pig that he'll somehow call Kamala Harris and do the right thing and pick up the phone and say, congratulations. What He hasn't done that with Joe Biden. What makes you think that there's any evidence that he would do that with Kamala Harris? It's a fair question, I think, Herb. Well, well, he may uh, see some evidence that he actually lost. And oh, it may not be on. the evidence. It may not. We don't know. I mean, I don't know. All I right, think Herb. that he okay. genuinely... Okay, well, there's nothing I can say this. All right, you're mind. entitled to your and opinion, Herb. You're you're entitled, you're entitled to your opinion. I respectfully disagree with you, Herb. Do you have anything else for me today? No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, just one more thing, Brian. Okay, go ahead. You always say this. Do you know how many uh, Democrats voted against that uh, border bill put up by the Senate? There were a, there were a lot of Democrats that voted against it, but guess what? The reason why okay. it was. Hold on, let okay. me finish. Let me finish my answer. There were plenty of Democrats that voted against it, but there were enough Democrats that voted for it in order for it to pass. Make no mistake about it. The reason why it didn't pass was because of Senate Republicans that voted against it. Herb, that's very important to note. It wasn't Democrats. (laughs) Well, you're laughing, but I'm just giving you facts. Well, I'm laughing because. You never want to answer the question. I just did. I I just hold on. Herb, Herb, pot him down, pot him down. You asked me if there were Democrats that voted against the bill. I said, yes, there were plenty of Democrats that voted against the bill, but that's not the reason why the bill wasn't passed. I'll repeat again because you're not listening. The reason why the bill wasn't passed is because of Republicans that voted against it. It's not the Democrats that the reason why the bill wasn't passed. It was Republicans. Why? Because Donald Trump picked up the phone and used his little orange fingers and told Mike Johnson and Senate Republicans to not vote for the bill. Herb, am I saying something that's not factually accurate? Please tell me if I if I'm if I'm not speaking. I'm not disagreeing with you about the Republican okay, voted thank against you. it. I'm and not did I not answer your question? But what I'm trying to say, but see, Brian, you you're trying to overtalk me. 
What I'm trying to say to you is, is that there was a bill in July of 20. Here we go again. You're going to talk about a previous no, bill that has nothing to do with the conversation. That was a bill by the House. I know, Herb. I appreciate the phone call. You're not acknowledging what I just said. You want to blame Democrats for the bill that didn't pass. The reason why it didn't pass was because of MAGA Republicans that listened to Cheeto Jesus. Thank you for the call, Herb.